have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how could they even? Ah, uh ha! You do want to talk about it. Ah, uh, oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Sure. Sounds fun. Yes. Love that enthusiasm. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad. Really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? Yes, very interesting. That's what science is all about. Nothing stays the same. Everything reacts. Now it's time for the field trip portion of today's lesson. Are you ready? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I think I have one already. That a girl. Who's my favorite junior scientist? You are. Here's a little something for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Hard work paying off. 